like I said before, the stage might be bigger, the brights might, the lights might be brighter, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we're just stepping on the field to play another football game, and that's kind of all it is. All right. Ne the next question will come from Kelly Helen from DBC. <clears throat> Hey, Evan, I'm sure after the AFC championship, I mean, this entire playoff run and some other big kicks, your phone has been blowing up. What is the reaction from former teammates, friends, just about your success in your rookie year? Uh, it's been awesome just to, uh, you know, see all my, like you said, my former teammates, my, my friends just reach out and congratulate me. And, you know, they're just super excited uh, for me. And, you know, a lot of them say, you know, this it isn't a shock. You know, we saw this a long time ago. And, um, you know, it really means a lot to me to hear from them kind of like that. And, and like I said before, I'm, I'm over here playing video games with them the, the night of the game after I get back, the day after. And, you know, it, it's just awesome because, you know, they don't see me any different than, you know, the Evan that they knew two years ago, four years ago, or, or ten years ago. Um, you know, I'm kind of just the same to them. And, um, they kind of just treat me the same. They don't treat me any different, and that's what I love about them. Um, like, to them, I didn't just come home from hitting the game-winning field goal to hit the to go to the Super Bowl. You know, I'm just kind of just the the normal um, goofy Evan that they kind of know. And you know, it, it's just been awesome to see um, kind of their reaction and their support of me. <clears throat> Definitely. Thanks. Good luck Sunday. Yeah, thank you. Right, this next question is coming from Chris Ryan at WGIR in New England. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I just got muted there. Um, I want to ask you about your confidence. And it's kind of become legendary during the postseason, you know, the things that you've done, the things you have said. Where does that, where does that come from? And how important do you think that is for – for a kicker in, to have confidence and conviction in, in those types of moments? Uh, I, I think it's probably one of the most uh, most um, important things that you really need as a kicker is, is confidence and just knowing, you know, in your mind whenever you step on the field that there's really no doubt that the ball is going to go through the uprights. And just I think it's really just come through, um, you know, countless, um, countless reps at practice, um, countless reps, you know, in the off season on my own, and I really like to translate, you know, practice to a game. And so, like, like let's say, you know, when we go throughout a normal week of practice, we hit 12 total field goals in a two-day span, and those are from different spots on the field. And so, going into the game, let's say I have like a similar kick to what I had in practice. All I'm thinking is. I hit it in practice. Well, why can't I do it here? You know, th this is no different than that kick in practice. And so I think that's really helped me um, throughout my career. Just give me the confidence to go out there. You know, I've done it once. Why can't I do it again? And that's just kind of I feel like where I've built my confidence the most is just kind of relate, relate, relating kind of practice to the game. Just a follow up if I can. Um, you mentioned the crowd and how you kind of turn. To tune the crowd out, but also want to capitalize on that energy and that that moment. Like, how do you combine those two things of the pressure and the crowd getting the best out of you, but also kind of pushing it aside in some ways? Like, how does that all kind of jive together, if you will? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I think it's just because, like, how it's like how they really describe being a specialist or on special teams is that you're you're kind of like a sniper you, you got one shot and one kill like that that's no it's, it's really cut and dry like you either make the kick or miss it and so I think just knowing how important your job is is you're going to do everything possible in in your power to you know make that kick and it doesn't matter if the the crowd is a record setting number of decibels, whatever it is, like however loud they get it, it really doesn't matter. Like you're going out there and you really, you, you have this one shot and that's it. You either got to make it or miss it. Um, and kind of all eyes are on you. And I mean, you know that subconsciously, but you know, in the moment you feel like nobody is watching you. And I think, um, 
that's probably one of the most important things because if you start thinking of the crowd and and the noise and you're kind of getting thrown off of you know your thought process of of the whole kick and you know I I think that if that kind of happens then you know bad things are going to happen so you, you really just kind of got to zero in and and not let anything affect you in, in that moment in time but you can have fun after enjoy the crowd but for those 1.3 seconds you don't hear anything <clears throat> all right guys we got about five minutes left uh, the next question will come from andrew gamble at the mirror hi evan may congratulations on an unbelievable rookie season and good luck in the super bowl on sunday yeah, thank you so you used to play uh soccer before switching to football where of course you're now a kicker uh, i don't know if you still follow the sport nowadays but what position did you play and uh is there a soccer player that you would compare yourself to oh man uh so I, I will say I don't really I don't really follow it too much now. Um, sorry about that, but uh, so I, I played forward, striker, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, whatever, I kind of played forward and, and a little bit of midfield, um, but forward for the most part. And kind of the the main reason I wanted to do that is because I didn't have the best ball skill. Um, I, I was really good at you know give me you know kind of playing through me so you know you're passing me I'm passing out and then I'm making a run um, you know around the defender and so um, I, I but I, you know I'm sad to say I don't really follow it too much anymore um, but my favorite player growing up was definitely Ronaldinho I just loved his ball skills and you know I always dreamed of having ball skills like him either, even though nobody else really does but Ronaldinho David Beckham I mean those are probably just a couple, uh, a few of my my favorites for sure. All right, this next question comes from Dylan Schefter at NFL Slime Time. Hey Evan, congrats on making it to the Super Bowl. So, um, I just have a question: How do you deal with the pressures of a big kick? Yeah. Uh, I I think, like I said, like like I said before, it just kind of comes down to, like you've been there before. You you you've done this so many times in your life just go out there and do it one more it, like the big kicks are no different than the first quarter kicks or the the first PAT um, in the regular season I mean it, they're, they're the same you know the, the hashes are just as wide the goalposts are the same width nothing really changes and you really got to get through that through your mind that um, other than the situation being a little more tense and, and bigger that nothing else really changes uh, uh, about the kick and I think that's really how, how you got to handle it and ha how you really got to uh, process the whole um, you know the, the big situation kicks thank you so much yeah thank you all right this next question is going to come from Patrick Crowley at Sky Sports NFL hi Evan your team is built on drafted players do you think like the young age and confidence you've all brought in has been the core to changing the culture of the team with Joe Burrow leading the way yeah um I, I think definitely and I think as as coach Taylor stated before um you know all these guys come from winning um winning teams you know in college you know with LSU um you got guys from Clemson and Ohio State and um you know, we, we've gotten guys from, you know, the Saints that have been in the playoffs these past couple of years. And I think just having guys that have been there and done that and are used to winning is just really what's kind of changed this culture and, and what's going to change it, you know, coming in the future. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, this next question is from Mike K at NJ.com. Hey, Evan, congrats on everything. Um, a lot of people have been talking about your swag lately, but Eli Apple – it's kind of emerges as, as a guy who a lot of people are talking about lately, especially on social media. What's he brought to your guys' locker room? Uh, why is he, he fun as a teammate to be around? I think he's probably, he's brought a lot of character to the locker room and I, I think he, he's brought a lot of fun to it. And, you know, he, he's always the guy that's dancing um, no matter where we are, if we're in the locker room, if we're in the stretch lines, if we're at practice, he, he's always bringing kind of that, that fun kind of energy you know he, he's always um in good spirits in a good mood and i think he kind of just brings everybody else's mood up just 
based off his dance moves and just kind of <clears throat> all the kind of stuff he does in the in the uh, locker room, I, I I would classify him as the the class clown of the locker room. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, this next question, is, this is actually going to be our last question because we're running out of time. Um, it'll be from Federico Falavigna of NFL End Zoners. Hi, Ivan. How are you? I'm Good, from you? Argentina. Congratulations. You're having a Lionel Messi performance and <laughs> postseason. Not Ronaldinho. Maybe Ronaldinho, but I think <laughs> Messi is, is better. Do you think your performance might change the perspective and the kickers could start being drafted in earlier rounds? I mean, I don't think it's just me. I think it's probably just the kickers that have been, you know, in the in this in the playoffs and and just the kickers around the league. I think are going to change their the perspective on um, how kickers are kind of sought out in the draft and. Um, I think that you know, in a couple of, next couple of years, I think there might be there, there might be like a premium put on kickers and just trying to go out there and find um, the right one for for an organization. Because I mean, I know there's a lot of great kickers out there, but you know, I feel like there's a certain place for for every guy. You know, that's you just kind of go got to go out and find the guy. But I think uh, I think we definitely could see um, more kickers get drafted this year or in the next couple of years. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you for your time. Evan, thanks for joining us uh, and yep. being anxious with your time in a busy week. Um, and we'll talk to everybody later. Yeah, thank you all.